Dan Reichert! Midge, Tokoto! We're back. We're, we're playing it forward some more. Uh, I, you know, Mitch, it's been a while. Oh my god, is the, the jacket? Is the yeah. jacket still there? Does he still say it? I mean, he gave me this for ace in the shooting range. Oh, that's the wrong one. Whoa. That was nice of her. How many gay cheetahs gave their lives oh, for this Oh, okay, he still got that one in the chamber. Okay. Yes, Mitch, how is our boy doing? Well, he's still this carrying this framed jacket of that man I murdered so he can uh, <laughs> say homophobic things about it across the world. Uh, so that's great. I, is that the only thing, like, as far as, like, a keepsake box or whatever? Okay, he brought out a diploma or something? Well, oh, shooting maybe range plaque. Okay. Yeah, he, maybe what somebody... Else, what else? Here's the thing. The things you bring with you when you move, like the keepsake type stuff, that's the things that's important to you as a person. So the jacket's important to him so he can make the joke. Right. The shooting thing reminds him that he can kill people good. Is there any other personal think, effects here? I think, yeah. So, look, here's, like, some guy's, like, pen and gloves. Sorry, is that a dead guy? With an alpha protocol agent. Yeah, absolutely. The way he's talking sounds like that was a person who was murdered. For sure. So it's just trinkets from people he's murdered. That's yeah. what means something to him. It's weird. Okay. it's weird. Yeah, he doesn't seem uh, uh, well adjusted. All right, let's access this computer. Whoa. Oh, oh yeah. You know, I never actually looked at the shop. Like, can we buy an even like? Can we buy like the best pistol? I mean, I assume. Okay, you were on the last one. So do you feel like uh, have we gone down the path of, of pistol efficiency? Yeah, we are maxed out on pistols, and like, okay, that's that's the play. Uh, seemingly ninety percent of the time is to just use that one pistol ability, and then, uh, you know, the one that the something? dead eye. Okay, this one has that special symbol on it. it. Seems like important. That's probably a side thing. Assault triad headquarters. You, we got to be. Oh wait, Taipei is Taipei the the shoot thing? Okay, so there's a new mission. What's this. Well, we are in Taipei. Oh, okay. Assassin okay. intercept assassination plans. Yeah, like I just want to know what's the main thing here. I would assume assault triad, right? Really? Because I would assume what it's the one with the mean? red background with that big A. So we'll, uh, I can't find anything. Well, look. Shouldn't. So we'll do both of them, or at least we'll just pick one. And true heirs. Oh, which one's true heirs? What's true heirs? Oh. When you back out, it says true operation true heirs. Uh oh, yeah. Okay, Huh. Well, you know what? I'm feeling... Uh, you know what? I'm the one that put you. I think it's assassination plans. There you are go. Michael Thornton. Oh, why does Mina Tang hate us? Well, we've, we've, we've killed a lot of people. That's for sure. Does she not like murder? I think she's against it. I know when, I know Bacalar had a whole mission where we were like infiltrating a hotel and we were supposed to like sneak past hotel security. Instead, we just kind of had to kill all of them, so... Backler, god damn it. You're ruining our good the good name of Michael Hi, Thornton. Bubale. Is that Michael oh, Michael Bubale? He just said Mike Bubale. Uh let's be eager. Uh, I was at a hotel bar once, uh, and the Miz was there, and a fan came up and thought the Miz was Michael Bublé, and Miz flipped out on him and it was hilarious. <laughs> I mean, like not, not like actually mad. He just like screamy, sure. like cut a promo cut a on promo. this guy for thinking he was Michael Bublé, and it was great. That's incredible. Whoa, what the fuck? Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, this again. Right. Well, anyways, I thought you should know since Taipei is sort of your turf and all. Taipei is this guy's turf. You've learned your lesson, Mike. I appreciate the heads up. For a while there. Where's Taipei? I'd have to disappear. I don't know. I uh, I, I was about to make assumptions, but then I, I don't want to be judged harshly if I'm wrong, I guess. Oh, don't worry. We're, we'll already get the comments. How do they not know where Taipei is? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I know. Neither of them know where Taipei is, and they're adults on a website? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know no Don't Taipei. apologize to them, Mitch. I don't know. <laughs> they don't deserve your apologies. Look. I mean, I'm assuming it's somewhere in Asia. All right, I'll just say it. It must be in Asia. Oh, my God, Mitch. Just look, I'm just saying. I'm sure we've got <laughs> what are you saying, Mitch? I'm what saying, are you just saying, saying? All Asian countries sound the same. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I need to distance myself from this. There video. you go. <laughs> look at that, like, uh, that, like, crotch section of his armor, by the way. It's very prominent. That's a good waiting for a train pose, leaning up against the wall. Portable radio channel. Whoa, shit. It looks like doesn't seem shady. For anything, Agent Thornton. Not sure what to expect from me? How do you know who I am? You've made <laughs> you don't stand out. 
intelligence. How do we know? We've been so stealthy and sneaky all across the world. How have we possibly left a footprint? Let's threaten this guy. Let's threaten this guy. Not intimidated by his weird, like, M. Bison cloak thing. Yeah. Is that a, a style anywhere these days? Because it's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool, I think, like, if you're a video game character who has, like, the physique of Hercules, I don't know how other people can manage it. Well, I guess next Blight Club, I just gotta pick a game where you gotta dress up like that. Eventually, your body will be found and would spark a police investigation. That is attention This is it, and I think this is the end of Michael Thornton. I think we're gonna get murdered by this. We're wearing a lot of protection, and I don't know if his little pea shooter is gonna go through that. He better aim for the head. Well, I have to assume that this game with all the branching paths does have numerous endings, so I wonder, I mean, could we just get shot in a closet thing in this whole series? I feel like we certainly deserve a bad ending. Uh, well, speak for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he locked us in a closet. Okay. I like it in games where you're in a, a jail cell and you have to break out. I, Metal Gear's done that, Zelda's done that, you know? Yeah. Although, breaking out here seems pretty easy. I think this guy overlooked this giant hole in the floor here. <laughs> Security in the cell is not great. Can I not go down yet? I have to wait for this dialogue to finish. Here we go. Can't hop down while people are talking. Man, that'd be rude. Man, you've, uh, you've played a lot of, like, sewer-type levels uh, yeah. recently. You're right. I'm just kind of <laughs> stuck in... Like, this is my thing. I mean, it was such a 360 era thing, even though Robo, Robo uh, Cop was a, uh, you know, pioneer in this kind of yeah. setting the aesthetic. Uh, Mitch, I I can't see you right now, but you are wearing the Robo Cop suit, right? Um, yes, I, well, I always wear it, of course. Okay. It's weird when I don't. I have to take it off for things like Unprofessional Friday or Dump Trap, but usually I just try to, like, not use this thing. Let's just do it. Yeah. Have you ever fallen asleep wearing the Robo Cop suit? Uh, every night, it's my like security blanket. <laughs> Probably comfy. Yeah, man. My only man. I hope we have other kinds of uh, pistol ammo. Trains are pretty loud here. What was okay? You're in Taipei, right? Shot. Yeah, our favorite country. I'm tell you, but I'm gonna look up how far you are. Oh, interesting. Okay, I see. I see where you're at. You think I can beat it today? Um, it seems unlikely. Yeah, I think you can beat it. Oh man, I'll get the glory. Hell yeah! Get the glory. Do you think we've done a good job with Michael? No. <laughs> what? He's a horrible person. I don't like him. No, I mean, not morally. I mean, just like, is, is he a good, like, is he an effective right, video dick. game protagonist? <laughs> I just shot that guy in the dick <laughs> six times. No, he's not. He's, so uh, he's doing good. <laughs> That's yeah. what you're saying. No, we can't activate that. That's way too much. You're becoming RoboCop by just <laughs> targeting becoming dicks. Robo yeah, that, that just can't help it now. <laughs> it's my life. Oh, slow, but we have our armor back. Find him. He drops some ammo now. Right. There's a lot of people above me, seemingly. There's like a guy right up here. We're gonna like, get up here. And... Buddy, calm down. Ooh, Do yeah, you know no if time. we've been to Moscow or Rome? Uh, no. Wait, have I, you mean like in real life, you mean this video game? No, in the game. I think Rome is, we were in Italy because we shot that guy in the gelato shop, remember? Yeah. This, the fandom uh, mission list is weird here. It's making it seem a lot like of different like, like, paths. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Come in if I need yeah. To shot. Huh. I need to be a bit more careful this time. Does Moscow sound familiar? Yeah, somebody was at Moscow, I feel like. I don't know. 
me. I mean, there's so much we haven't seen either. Yeah. I don't really know, like, you know, of course, like, I don't really know, like, the main bad guys. I don't really know what our goal is. I don't know what Michael Thornton's trying to accomplish in the world. What did you learn from Backlar's run? Uh, there's that thing with the hotel. What thing? Where we went to the hotel and we killed all the security guards. Oh, oh that thing. <laughs> that thing, yes, okay. That was fun. Mechanic from Xbox 360 era. <laughs> Here it comes. Almost. Almost. All right. I feel like you almost never see the, the recharging health stuff. You know, the, the way, the traditional, like, Call of Duty way, you know? Yeah, I think it, you know, it's that grenade. The same grenade got me. Like, it was like Aspen's grenade last time. It was Aspen's grenade this time. Three shots is fine. I don't need to waste ammo. Like Breco he's... is dead, right? Who's that? He's the guy with the jacket, right? <laughs> the guy with the jacket? And Doesn't I mean, it say Breco's jacket? Yeah. We killed him a while ago, if that's who that is. This seems extremely non-linear. Yeah, that's a distinct possibility. Maybe that's the main guy. Maybe I just killed him forever ago. And we have, like, this is maxed out, and this is still a really big target window we have in this. Yeah, it's crazy. Most of the walkers I'm seeing are saying, like, Assault Breco's Mansion, like, late, late, late in the game. And we did that forever. Must be a different guy. Ask, ask if he's, see if he's the no, guy with the purple. No, he is. He's the purple DJ guy. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we did that so long ago. That was, like, my first mission on my last episode. Yeah, I've seen several walkthroughs that list that, like, near the very end. But I guess you can just kind of hop around as much as you want. Maybe the game's only over when we stop having fun. <laughs> we can keep we can keep playing it forward forever. <laughs> right, you're trying to find out the link between Halbeck and an attempted assass assassination. Stephen Heck. What, what's the one? Are you investigating the warehouse data trail? No. What am I doing? I tried to just push In start like I'm holding a uh, original Xbox controller. By the way. Uh, <laughs> Where's my dust? Intercept mic? assassination plans? That yes, that's familiar. what I'm on. That's what I'm on. Okay, okay. Got it. Can't get a shot. All right. Being a lot more careful this time. I think we're doing okay. Right up there. I think we can, we're safe to go up this uh, staircase. By staircase, I mean ladder. Look, I got confused. <laughs> Everybody mixes those things up. Give me a break. <laughs> Look, it's the same basic thing, right? Same basic thing. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's cool. Who among us? This. Oh, that's the alarm I am not going to deactivate. Okay, this ladder is the one that I got punished for going up last time. And there is at least one guy up there, but I think we'll be able to get there open and shoot him. There's not like five guys up here this time. Fine. Easy peasy. Some health? No, I could use some health. Man, all, all this money I'll never use. Good, good, good. Do you have a high-end pistol? I mean, I looked at the upgrades and none of them, like, or like the ones we could buy, none of them seem significantly better. Yeah. Least, like, none of them were as good on damage anyways. I assume is my priority. Although, actually, maybe not, because I'm, like, shooting people six times. I would like to just shoot him three times, but I don't want to like wait 20 seconds. <laughs> so I guess we're just you can, there's no just like pull the trigger button. The well, the pull trigger is how I target them. One way or another. Oh, so, I don't know. Weird. Huh. I mean, that's when you know you're a cool guy when you go down ladders like that. You slide down. Have you ever done that? No. Hurt myself. I get freaked out by ladders. Do you? Mm, kind of, I guess, you know, you say it. I haven't been on a ladder in a while. 
I freak out in situations where if you do a single thing, you're just dead. So well, it's like, it's like driving let's a car. Say, exactly. Yeah. If I'm on the highway, it's like, oh, what if I just lost control for a split second? And just, <laughs> just, you're dead. Yeah. And then on a ladder, what if I'm like, you know, 30 feet up a ladder and oops, I just let go. I'm dead. I'm just yeah. like, Whoop. Nope. Just no. Just, you know, I think it's a rational fear. I think a lot of people aren't afraid enough of like how weird it is when we're in a car. It's like, oh, if I just decided to turn the steering wheel to the left, like 15 degrees for no reason, I guess I'll be fucking dead. Yeah. Yeah, and like logically, you know, like, well, of course not. Why would I do that? But it's like, well, yeah. I don't. It's the idea of like, we're standing on a roof, you know, or a, oh, like, yeah. that's why a hot air balloon is like one of my greatest fears. It's just like, what if just, I don't know, this never ever happens, but what if you just fucking ah, just jumped yeah. or fell or something? It's just like, even if, you know what I mean? This is an irrational fear, but it, I it's, think it's, uh, well, it's not super rational, but it's not like entirely irrational. This after, no! Yeah, just, where did you oh, come from? Jeez, I, you, you're you overselling that. Yeah, that's an HPK yeah, SummerSlam 05. Yeah, all right, what's my last checkpoint here? Better not be the beginning of this stupid firefight. Like, at some point, it got quiet again. Okay, yeah, this is fine. Okay. I remember this guy. <laughs> I, you've been playing a lot of RoboCop, so I feel like you're pretty uh, forgiving <laughs> for checkpoints. Oh, yeah, this is, like, reasonable. Yes, the fact that there is a checkpoint <laughs> is pretty impressive to me now. That's pretty egregious, even for the Xbox oh, era yeah. with RoboCop not having it. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Get into the cover. That's a probably drop A. See, look, this guy took out all my armor. Now I gotta wait. I'm stuck in this like slow mode thing. Can't risk it. Why risk it? No Don't reason risk to. It. Do you take risks? Are you a risk taker? My big risk taker. I mean, I don't know. It depends on the level of risk, you know. Like if you said, "Hey, there's like a 10% shot you can die or get a hundred dollars," I'm gonna say no. That's a stupid that's, risk. Yeah, risk reward. You gotta get cost yeah. benefit analysis, right? Exactly. But I don't know. Like, I'll take risks of like of like video games and stuff like that if it's like for funsies or you know I like to gamble sometimes. I uh I I try to avoid casinos too much because I actually quite like them. Sure, yeah. They're a lot of fun. I, I like all the oxygen they pump in. I like all the shining lights, and I like oh, the games. Yeah. I mean, so. it's supposed to do that. Right, exactly. And it's effective to me, so it I is. Like, be careful. Especially, like, you get out of a crap stable or something, everyone's winning, and everyone's having oh, yeah, a good time. Like, good I, time. you can see how people get problems with that. What the hell is that? Uh, <laughs> name for the deck. I'm looking at it. Where did I even come from? It's one of the mages. <sighs> oh, someone came from behind me? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Man, I had no troubles last time I was playing. This is hard. Maybe this is last level hard, is what I'm going to tell myself. Why don't you, you blame Bacalar? <sighs> oh, I'm embarrassed. Bacalar, like, he was doing pretty good last time. I'm looking pretty plain. Right, Bacalar's showing me up. Bacalar completed two missions. <laughs> Okay, come on, like, shoot him. Thank you. Like, I don't know what this ability does. I thought it was, like, an auto-aim, but it sure did seem to miss him a lot there. Is that the thing where, like, the reticle gets kind of bigger? Yeah. Yeah, I, that seems funky to me, too. Yeah, I don't know what it's actually doing. Okay. Open door. Picture will come up from behind me this time. Yeah, that guy definitely did do that. I don't know. I don't understand how. Maybe he came from the left. Can we kite them over here? Going back to my MMO days, I'm gonna kite people. I got shot once. What was your MMO of choice? Well, I did play a lot of World of Warcraft back in the day. Okay, okay. Then I became a hardcore Final Fantasy XIV guy a few years ago. Okay, look, I have so much mm. I have so much armor left. I'm not popping out back there. I think these people are programmed to not like go past a certain point. So. There we go, there it goes. You're not an MMO guy at all, right? No, I had a real, I don't know if this is just for my dad's cheapness or whatever, but the concept of having to pay monthly for a game freaked me sure. out because it's like, well, what if I don't play it much that month? Or, you know, what if I don't have a chance? Like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to pay fourteen ninety nine sure. for this thing, you know? No, that's fair. I mean, it's a reasonable yeah. thing to be concerned about. So I've never done it once. I've never paid for a monthly game. I guess uh, unless you count the Fortnite crew pack, but that's like <laughs> there the... There you go. 
kind well, of that's that's not value to pay. That's not to play, you know. Yeah. yeah. If it turned down such value. Exactly. Yes. But no, I. I think I did, one of my first features of Giant Bomb was a uh, 30-day trial where I did a 30-day trial of uh, WoW. Like once a week for um, a oh. and that's that's probably my only MMO experience. I mean, it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if it's your kind of a your kind of scene. Well, I I can appreciate it as a well-made game and stuff like that, but it's like I don't know. I've always like my whole work is playing a lot of games and talking about them. You know, like I think even if I didn't go into the industry though, I don't think that's my style of play. I like to play lots of different games, you know? Sure. No, I understand. Exactly. And you can't it really is. do that. And I do sometimes feel bad when, like, I'm really deep into these things. Like, man, I am playing this one game a lot. And I could be, like, expanding my knowledge base and seeing, you know, doing more things. Like, like this week, I'm like, I don't know much about shmups. I've been, like, watching a lot of shmup videos I've been playing some old shmups. And I'm like, this is fun. Cool. This is filling some gaps in my gamer knowledge base. Not for These guys are wearing helmets, so I don't know if I really want to shoot them. And hope it works. Thank God for this ability, man. We'd be going nowhere. Okay, don't please don't hurt me. It almost seems like necessary. You yes. Know? Yes. I think we actually just need straight up need this ability to auto target like a jerk. Yeah. Okay, I gotta hide for my armor to get back up. So two people are just doing so much damage. This is a thrilling gunfight we're having for the last, like, 20 minutes here in this doorway. <laughs> Waiting for my armor and this skill to keep recharging. Oh, shit. Guess we're back to the waiting game! <laughs> guys must almost be dead. There's, like, what, I see three more on my, like, little map. What's the map you're seeing? Not map, but, like, there's three, like, Red dots on my UI. Oh, okay. And I assume. Oh, this okay. I see the little that. arrows. Yeah, I can barely see them here. This guy's coming up right now to challenge me. The fool. He's like doing way better than me in this fight. Okay, got him. Can't beat him. That's a damage on me. Okay, comes another guy. Right here. Yeah, I don't think they like will come past. Me. Very nice. Safe now. Lock box. Oh, an explosive grenade. I have not been using grenades. There's this the famous Michael Thornton walk. The walk of <laughs> champions. It's, a, it's just a soldier walk. That's the first thing they teach you in soldier school. Soldier, what do they call soldier school? Uh, training camp. Oh, yeah, yeah. But soldier school is good, too. Were you ever in the army? No. I did very... It's funny to think, but I did very briefly consider like, joining the Navy after high school or something. Then I thought better really? of that immediately. Oh, you know how much I love this stupid shit. Okay. <laughs> gotta be better. I mean, there was like a few months in college where I wanted to be a cop because of 24. So that's stupid that's too. That's incredible. Yeah, that's very stupid. I think I just thought the Navy would be like Star Trek. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> <laughs> but with like on water. The Space Force. If you were young now, would yeah. you join the Space Force? No. Well, <laughs> they're not going to space. None of those people. <laughs> very stupid. I went to like a bar, like our one barbecue chain here. It's like, of course, like very like pro military stuff. So there's like all this military paraphernalia everywhere. Yeah. And of course, there's a. Uh, it's weird. Like it was weird the first time I saw it, like they had like the, all the flags with different um you know wings of the military, and then there was just the fucking space force, and I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just, I have a hard time taking this seriously. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. This is a pretty hard door to unlock. This might be a beyond a my abilities. There's just not enough time, and I'm feeling rushed. Well, and I don't think we have it leveled up, you know. <sighs> well, maybe like I can the look... lockpick stuff. Yeah, let's see. Maybe I can level it up right now. What? I don't know where is it. Service record? That's not where I would think. Okay. Uh, do I have? I have one API, so it's definitely not. I don't even know where that would be. Would it be sabotage? Is your like? Yeah. Is it? Is that the lockpicking? No, I don't see anything really about breaking right? and entering. Breaking and entering, yeah. Maybe. Okay, yeah, yeah. Is there another breaking and entering? Well, there isn't even any more. What is technical like... aptitude? 
Uh, yeah, like, back arms look at these two, and it was weird. Like, they weren't what they thought. Like, technical aptitude. It's like getting... Weapon reap chambering? Yeah, getting your, like, medicine and ammo and stuff like that. I don't know. Well, I think we're not opening this door. Let's move on for our lives. God, I really wish there was some health. Something. Probably behind that locked door. Oh, this is good. Looks like we're out of the sewers. Maybe? Oh, man, just chugging along a little bit here, but that's okay. Okay. The gates to the bottom platform are closed. I need to find the control. Oh, I've been seen by the camera. Okay, where am I trying to go? That's just a normal uh, security guard. I don't want to be a jerk like Bacalar and uh, make all these orphans, so try to not kill these people who can just sneak back. I forgot about orphans, Chris. Yes. Oh, I showed him That's the orphans. Incredible. <laughs> okay, this might be... I don't know. I'm, I haven't been watching... You know, I'm not allowed to watch everyone else. This might be a first ever sneaking attempt <laughs> in uh, <laughs> Play It Forward, as far as I know. <laughs> I was pretty stealthy, if I remember right. Yeah. You're very gone, buddy. Look at this. Look at that. You're impressed. Just say it. Wow. Yeah. Solid Snake himself here. That's right. Hey, what was that? Ah, uh, it was nothing. Now we're just going here. I saw something on the monitor. Trust me. You didn't see oh, anything. boy. But I, so this isn't going to happen. Trust me. Sometimes, even if you see something. There's no, no way there's enough time to get all of these. No. <sighs> Not even close. We got to find another way. What oh, spies luck? Okay. Oh. oh, maybe there's a way we can open the door from in here. Yeah. Like the uh one take down. That's non lethal, that's fine. This guy did not notice. That's good. Look at that. Nice, Perfect. holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, we got a data disc or something. There's a lot of fun stuff in here. Let's collect. Special ammo. All right. What's on this computer? Is this going to be that hacking game I'm terrible at? I got it. I, I, I know how it works now, at least. Okay, where's the CD? Okay, I see the other uh, one, I'm struggling with this one. Oh, up, 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 too. Up, 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 up. Oh, it moved, it moved, it moved. Supposed to be here. Shit, it was right there. Damn. Requesting backup. We have a shooter. Oh, shit. That was that one very poorly. Let's just run away now. Oh, oh, come on. Probably something sweet in here. Just to be good at these games, but... Okay, never mind. There's, like, no time. Uh... We gotta be... We have to be able to hack that computer, because we gotta, I think, open that door? Yeah, we have to do this. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Uh, gotta really... You guys see it? Don't move, don't move, you piece of shit. Oh my god, go faster, for the love of god. Uh, there. Now. Four. Four, 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 four. Here it is, right above the other one. Gate's Perfect. open now. Time to say hello to our friends downstairs. Good. Wait, what? What? Okay, what's open? What's open? What's open? The gate. The gate is open. Oh, great. Fire the assassination data. Now we're in another gunfight. I would think you murder these poor people. What are you Got him. It's a real squishy. Didn't have a choice. <laughs> Had no choice. Well, honestly, yeah, they did kind of come at me with their guns. I really wanted to let them live. Okay. Gotta wait for my. The gate is open. What, below me? I had to go down? Alright. You ever been to Asia? No, I haven't been anywhere in Asia. I've only been to Japan, but it was it's really cool. Yeah, I bet. You'd be Let's mad. Let's go to Japan. Well, you, I want to go to Japan. You're going to be unhappy when the first thing I want to do in Japan is go to the freaking Disneyland there. You know what? I, I would I would do it. I, yeah. I'm, absolutely, I would do it. And I wouldn't be a, a grump about it. I, yeah. I, I would enjoy I th it. I think maybe perhaps your time at Universal has opened your eyes a bit to how much fun theme parks can be. No, honestly, that. even like Disney here, I would go and be open-minded and stuff like that. Like, I, I joke about it and everything, but um, 
I don't know. You, I, I, I look at like dismissiveness, like from my dad uh, about things he doesn't understand or like, and it kind of it, it frustrates me. And I try not to be him go. with that stuff. So like, I, I would want to go in with an open mind and be like, as much as I give shit to Mickey Mouse and all that stuff, sure, Disney, I legitimately well, would would like to understand the fandom but, more. Yeah, you know, th- there's a lot to do there. Like, I wouldn't like put you in the line to meet Mickey Mouse or to go. In, it's a small <laughs> world, you know. I would take you to like the fun themed like bars and like the oh, cool yeah. ride and like you I know, know have a blast. little things. Yeah. I cool didn't wait stuff. in the line to meet Mario, and I, I I look up to Mario as a man. Yeah. All right. So I guess like, where does it want me to go? All the way back down. How do I get down there? Question. Oh, there we go. Going down over here. Is there a run button. Oh, that's... can you shoot the cameras? Yeah, probably. But I don't have that much uh, oh, yeah, ammo, and they've it. already seen me anyways. And it's probably just like a point reduction thing. I don't care. Oh, here we go. <laughs> He's here. You said this location was safe. Kill him. Mike, your target is on the move. Don't let oh, him shit. get away. That's a lot. Oh, is this a timed thing too? Yeah, I Why was he running full speed while time was stopped? Did you notice that? Yeah, that was bullshit. That was really weird. But I also had an opportunity to shoot him. But I guess it. For some reason, the mission fails because that's nothing. Yeah. Don't Snake, want you to do you it. created a time paradox. <laughs> that's the best. <laughs> time spared. That's not what happened. We got a situation. Send back up. This is not. Okay. okay. That's good. Pick up all this ammo and stuff. I really wish there was some health somewhere. I think they would have done that by now, but they haven't. And I haven't been the most like uh, the most uh, intense about looking for this stuff. Okay, but all these key cards. This is the way he ran. He ran past that door, right? Down the center. He's running past this thing, which I cannot open. It's just... I'm gonna say I don't think. I guess we could try, but it seems like there's not enough time. Oh my gosh, not, not, I wasn't that far off, I guess. Now I'm kind of want to try again. Oh boy, that's a mess. I yep, messed that one up. I feel like be looking at the next one while I'm doing the other one. Three, four, You didn't give it to me! You didn't give it to me! That was so close. You got it. You can do this. Don't leave until you do this. Great. I got to guess here because I can't even see. We're four. Shit, 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 shit. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh, not even. That was just kind of unlucky. Uh, one. Uh, I don't even know. I guess. Nope. Oh, I, I that wasn't feeling that one. Uh, <laughs> one, two, three. Where that was four. Where's the, okay? Uh, I got I got got a guess. Oh, we did guess it. Five, six, seven, seven, uh, eight, nine. Where's oh, ten? I'm just gonna run. Oh, baby! Oh, nice, nice, <laughs> excellent. Jesus Christ. That was... <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how else I would get in here if I didn't do that. Jeez. <laughs> oh, is this some health too? Oh, everything's coming oh, up, man. Mikey. Mid central here. Go. Let's do it. Let's do a manual save. Oh, getting fancy. That's how good I'm feeling. <laughs> there he is, just running at full speed again. I wonder if I should just shoot him. But can I? I mean, is he just? Wait, that was the dude? Okay, just ran away again. So I'm gonna go. I'm freaking wait for my pistol ammo. D. 
69 bullets. Now 42. Oh my god. It's like 420. I did the meme numbers. Very good. Can't really see, but that's fine. This sure is just the best tool I've got in my arsenal, man. No. Nothing even comes close. Such a long range too for that to be effective. Oh yeah, it's just there's no you know there's no range cap as far as I can tell. You can see the target, the person you can get him. That guy's got like armor. Maybe this is a good opportunity to like, throw a grenade or something. There we go. Um, nope. Very very bad range on that. God, this is gonna go through this freaking wall too, isn't it? Oh, but at least hit him. Does that work? Yeah. It hit him at least. Take that. I'll buy that for a dollar. Quit referencing the movie you haven't seen. <laughs> it's getting close. <laughs> I want to see it now. <laughs> wait, well, I mean, that's though. the thing we have to. Even if it's like a film in 40s that like it's not as accessible, you know, it's, it's not on Prime Video. The people who want to watch and rent it on Amazon or whatever yeah. can, but then we can just post it for anyone who has the DVD. Yeah, exactly. You ever notice we still say DVD, even though, you know, that hasn't been the format I for mean, a long time? When you say we, I don't know if you mean me, because I don't know if I still say DVD. But, like, if you refer to that, like, just there, like, oh, if someone has, would you say the Blu-ray or the disc? Would you say Blu-ray? Mm, I guess I would just say if they have the movie. I don't know. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know. It's weird that we're at a point where, like, Blu-rays are, like, discount. Like, you can get a Blu-ray for, like, five bucks now. I'm still used to that being, like, so high-end, brand-new, top-of-the-line oh, yeah. technology. Well, now it's, like, 4K. I'm trying to upgrade everything to 4K, and it's like, ah, do I need the... I still have the Blu-ray in the shrink sure. wrap. I never opened it. Do I need to buy a $30 fucking 4K of this movie I never even watched on Blu-ray? I have to hear it. I'll be right back. Go for it. I'm just going to make my way down this hallway. Oh boy. Okay, good. Hope these guys drop some ammo. Oh my god. Oh, is there a train coming? I'm gonna hide. I think there's a train. Yeah! Oh, you can't. Oh, Mikey! I learned too much from that freaking tunnel at Robocop land. That guy's dead. Oof. Good thing Dan wasn't here. That probably would have killed me if he was. Would have brought bad juju. I know there's like other ammo types you can select or something. What, what else do we have as a skill for overclock, fury, silent running? Eh, who cares about that? Well, being invisible might be not awful. Remember, I watched somebody once pick different ammo types for their guns. I'm not crazy. That is a thing. Yeah, here it is. So. We're low on that ammo type for these things with the silky APDS rounds. Good. Hey, stop! There he is. There's that guy. Oh, oh, oh! That's your dude? That dude. Aim to the line. I'm in the So will you. Think you can dodge a train? Damn. Time to turn back. Train level. Oh shit! Very timed, and the time does not slow down when time does. If that makes sense. Oh yeah. god, you're on fire, and you need to evade a train. Uh, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Wait. What the hell did you happened? do it right? I didn't do anything. What the fuck just happened? You were on fire. <laughs> I, did, I wonder if I could have just shot that guy way earlier. Oh man, I thought I was gonna get back to back Mitch getting run over by a large vehicle. Well, to be clear, I had to dodge a train while you were peeing also. You missed that. It was the same thing oh, where I had to hide a little cubby hole to avoid it. Oh, wow, right. look at that. There we go. Let's see, uh, how many orphans do we make? Uh, 35. Only 35 orphans. I mean, that's not really orphans. Are you telling me all those people, like all, like all those kids also don't have moms? If you still have a mom, you're not an orphan, right? And also one of those dudes could have had like 10 kids, you know? Yeah, so exactly. you didn't really kill that many people. You just made a lot of orphans. Right, exactly. You know what? Yeah, don't be selfish. If you're a hitman, don't have a family. You don't know what's going on. 
Yeah, oh, that's a good point. That's for sure. Like 47 doesn't have kids. I'm patching into your system now. Oh, this is good. He's using a uh, I don't really want to be. I think impatience rude, flirting's rude. We'll just do this other she, option. Get this she actively hates you. I don't think you want to flirt with her. Oh, look at that. She like that. Just bits and pieces. All right. Something about the assassination attempt and riots at Sung's rally. Maybe to cover an escape the secondary plan the assassination fails. I think concerns is the proper response. Yes. Yeah. The whole region's thrown into chaos. If Dang sets off those riots, it could end with a lot of people dead. Let me know when you have more. Will do. Why, why was there a reflection of a mountain range in his sunglasses? Look at this. <laughs> What's wrong? There was a oh my, is that really what it is? <laughs> yeah, look at that. Like, like what? <laughs> like they only put one texture on that? I don't know. <laughs> oh my. Am I to see? Yeah, you're right. What's going on here? Uh, is that what he's seeing? Oh. oh. Assassination. Assassination. Yeah, I think it's a good choice. That's it. Good work. You made her like you a little more. Yeah, I know. Not being a weird dick. This is the redemption of Michael Thornton. Just hope you made the right call. Okay. What's happening now? Whoa. And so we come to the events in Taipei, Agent Oh, this guy. I don't still know who this guy is. I only saw him in like the first. Is, so, I, I think this is like the framing device. For, it's like this guy's been. In, it's like Dragon Age Two. Like this guy's interviewing me the entire time. Oh, is it all flashback? Yeah. Like, That's like how Dragon Age Two is. Yeah, because they they're talking to that dwarf the entire time. No, I haven't played any Dragon Age. Yeah, Dragon Age Two does that. Oh, okay. That's the one everyone hates, right? Yeah, I mean, I think some people defend it. It's the one that's real small in scale compared to especially the first one. It's like you're in one city. Uh, you go to like, a, they repeat like dungeon designs a lot. Let's be, let's be aggressive. Yeah, don't you have to be just like one dude versus like making your own class and character and all that? <laughs> I'm sorry. This guy liked the fact that I, when he like, he, he's like, oh, you killed a lot of civilians. And I was like, yeah, I did. <laughs> and I got a plus one like from it. That's weird. <laughs> Uh, what was that about Dragon H2? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Don't you just play as one dude in that versus, like, making your own class and character uh, and all that? No. You, I mean, you always, like, have, like, your main character guy. You still have a party of people in it. Oh, okay. I thought it was just more like this is a named character. It's not like, oh, you create the character. Well, he's always named Hawk. So they did the shepherd thing, right, where his last name's Hawk. Okay. And it's like, oh, well, well, he could be a man or a woman whose last name is Hawk. And, like, the, there was a lot of Mass Effect 2 ising of the series there, I think, is okay. the problem. Whereas, like, the first Dragon Age almost felt more like an old-school Bioware RPG with, like, you know, all the different options and things you can do. I think Dragon Age 3 fit a better balance of that, but... Uh, okay, what yeah, are we doing? like the Inquisition. Sabotage. Don't care about that. And for some reason, because of our build, we can never go high enough in this stuff to get, like, a new thing of hacking and whatnot. I feel like this has got to be late game too. Greatly improving the weapon balancing. It takes the adjustments fine for ideal recoil. Uh, what? I don't know. What's martial arts? I'm not like using that at all. We don't even have these guns. I, I toughness. Ooh, that's good. Let's just go into toughness. I think at this point. Yeah. Make yourself stronger. There we go. Good, I like it. Nice. I like the shirt. Yeah, I do Ed like Hardy? that shirt. I'd get that shirt. <laughs> yes, confirm my change. Is Ed Hardy still a thing? Uh, is who? Ed Hardy. Ed Hardy. I don't know. You I'm know what good. I'm talking about, right? Those shirts? No, I don't. I was afraid to admit it. I don't know what you're talking no? about. No? Ed Hardy. It's always, it looks like a, a really, like, ornate, they're just very busy, and they've got, like, lions and a bunch of, like, tattoo-looking things. It was very, uh, it was like Affliction shirt ad adjacent, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah. You know Affliction? Oh, I know Affliction, because that was, okay. you know, all the wrestlers were wearing Affliction for a bit there. Yeah, imagine just, like, a UFC guy, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, let's see what our next mission is here. We have a little bit more, we have a little bit more time to mess around with Mr. Thornton. Nice. Contact. See, I think these are the uh, critical path ones. I was right, Dan. You I were going to make me waste time on some stupid side mission. No, I agreed with you. <laughs> I'm going to contact Check the, the president. Look at that. It was minus 10 animosity last time. 
you're repairing, you're, you're mending bridges. Yeah. Uh, I was going to meet with you. I think this is one of those we're just talking to a person kind of missions. Yeah, it just says warn. Yeah. See if we can create some orphans. <laughs> we'll go to talk to someone. Hopefully we don't run across any gelato shop owners. <laughs> 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 he had it coming. I understand you have some All right, we got to we got to really make this guy know what's going on here. We got to make sure he takes right. it seriously. We yes, can't yes. be jokey, about about pretending like we're in a movie. Michael, Michael Thornton. We got to let this guy know. People are gonna kill him, and if he dies, it's gonna really serious man. destabilize the whole. He looks like a shadow character. <laughs> Uh, and no, not just because he's Asian. It's just the way he's animated. Okay. Wow, Mitch. I, before, I was getting Mitch. ahead of that one before anyone Man. said anything. One time can be a coincidence. Oh my God. He's <laughs> gonna go with all the bees. Does he sell the mountain range? Yeah, he does. <laughs> He's just always looking at. And his heart, he's always looking at that mountain. <laughs> That's where he grew up. Clouds. I have proof of the plan to assassinate. <laughs> like they got the one like it's texture for like his right, reflections. Right. <laughs> like, all right, that's good enough. There are, there is a reflection on there. That's good. Wait, is there a reflection and the mountain range? No, that's what I'm saying. Like, like instead of having a real reflection, they just like got a PNG of this mountain range. So it's like, well, there's a reflection on there. People may not like stare to like really notice what it's a reflection of. <laughs> I remember uh, Ride to Hell Retribution did that. Like, every window you look at has a reflection of the same, like, factory. I know, yeah, I never played that one. Oh, you don't say. Well, this guy's, like, not taking me seriously. Maybe I should have been harder. Hey, Siri, remind me. Ride to Hell Retribution, Mitch Blight Club. I'm going to be frustrated with him. No. Here's everything I have. Of course, if you listen to me, you can prevent both of these outcomes. But I cannot act on the word of a foreign intelligence agent alone. What comes will come, and Taiwan will weather as she always no. <laughs> Dude, they're trying to kill you. Just don't go do your speech. Is there a reason that some people refer to countries and boats as she? Um, yeah, but I'm not sure exactly what. Well, I'm gonna crash the rally, take down the assassin, and defuse the riots before any shots are fired. Oh, you hear that? Right. Plus now, one reputation with Mina. Yeah, she. Well, yeah, she liked it. So this guy th isn't listening to us, and now we just have to like go and kill the assassin ourselves. I guess we can. We can do it. We're up to it. We're Michael Thornton. Damn it! You are Michael Thornton. How did it go with Sung? Oh, look, this is uh, this is Scarlet. From Mortal Kombat? <laughs> you know what? When I was with Backlar, I also thought that, but I was afraid to make that joke. I didn't know. So uh, if you get it, I'm glad you're here, Dan. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a true gamer. That's Not like right. Jeff Backlar and Mr. You know, He's got TV blood magic. Man. Yeah, yeah. If she was a fucking rumor that didn't exist, and then they turned her into a shoot character. They did a lot of that. I like that. Like uh, I was at an added. arcade with Jeff Grubb uh, two days ago, and uh, we played Mortal Kombat 2, and I, I just flawless victory fatality, and it felt really good. Right, but you keep saying that. You gotta specify. You only got shut up, shut up, man. Fate. You only got to shut up. One, one round is still. Up. I saw flawless victory. Scarlet. If I need any more help, I'll let you know. Thanks for everything, Scarlet. Good luck, Mike. Scarlet is such an Xbox 360 song. era character. Oh yeah. <laughs> so is Scarlet in WWE. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, WWE. <laughs> yes. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Prevent the right. assassination. Okay. Yeah, we're going to stop the assassination now. The final mission of the game. Probably not. You think? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. It seems like we we have all these, like, interstitials. I don't... If, I mean, of course, with this uh, format we're doing, it's hard for me to see the bigger picture of all this stuff we're doing. I don't know what our goal is. We have to lean on each other here. Yeah. Whoa, Looks look at like this. Gang's men already made it here. How's that satellite up there? I like still wearing this cool hat I gave him. Yeah. It'd be funny if you take it off and just got like Larry David hair. This should be interesting. I hope our friends actually show up. What if I really grew my hair out if I'd have like Larry David hair now? I thought about that. Like, you know, it'd be funny to just like disappear for like six months and grow my hair out and come back with just like insane like Hulk Hogan hair. Right. Here's what maybe I'm going to do here. Uh. Maybe, especially for 
this guy. So definitely this thing out. Maybe we equip one of these sneaking abilities. Silent shadow, uh, shadow operative. Renders you invisible. Let's nice. equip that. Maybe we can really sneak past these assholes. Okay, so this is very short. This is this lasts for five seconds apparently, so this is not good. <laughs> I guess if you just want to sneak by a camera or something, that'd be good. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is that? Was that like how they're going to assassinate him? Wait for him to cross the just bridge, and, bridge. <laughs> and like activate the Wally Coyote bridge bomb? Like what they're the hell? They're going to paint a, a, a hole on a tunnel or a, a tunnel on a cliff. Silent running makes all walking and running completely silent. Um, I'm not really worried about being quiet. I just want to that. Okay. I guess we're not going that way. <laughs> was that, uh, was there any way to tell? Nah, I could, I could tell. I guess there's, like, dynamite. Like, is that a charge now I know? Oh. I mean, like, there's even the mission marker. Uh, never mind, it's not on the bridge. Okay, whatever. It was rude. You saw nothing, <laughs> idiot. Look at this. Stab him. Do it. Nice. There we go. Okay. Wouldn't it be All cool right. to be really good at martial arts? <laughs> yeah, you know. Not too late, Dan. We could. Yeah. I, was I uh. Oh, oh, took this guy out. I got a Groupon for five Muay Thai classes once, then I made it through like three of them before I got hurt, and it was pretty cool. My uh, nephew does uh, karate or taekwondo or something, and it's fun. To what the hell is that? Oh, what? What's going on? Does it blow the bridge? I don't. I don't what? Ah, I'm scared. Do they know me? Do they know I'm here? No. They definitely do. Yeah. I try to crack a safe. What's the safe rigged? I think actually. There we go. Well, I'm reading about this mission. It says, before heading into this mission, you need to ditch the pistol. But why? Bring an assault rifle and either an SMG or shotgun to make things easier. Ensure you have all types of ammo and some explosives to get you out of trouble. Huh. Eh. Don't bother buying the sniper rifle dead drop from Clearinghouse as this alerts guards when used in the level. This, this sounds like some lame min max solution to me. Oh, shit. I think we'll be fine. No. Killed yeah. me so fast. I mean, I'll be honest, Dan. I think this is going to be your mission eventually. No. <laughs> like, no. You know, I'm making a little bit of an effort here, but I'm running a little bit <laughs> oh, out no. of time. We'll see. <laughs> Go a little bit more here. I go fast. Make, make me strong. Make you strong. Put me over. All right, here we go. We're gonna get this guy out. We won't even need to turn invisible because we're gonna be faster getting up here. Oh, that's like a, that was interesting. That must be a perk. I just immediately went invisible when he noticed me. Nice. Okay. Let's not try to crack that safe. Like, it saw me somehow or something when I did that. What just automatically happens? Huh? Oh, it's I didn't even go to the bridge. What are they talking about? There's so many people. Let's just go. Got Fuck him. Head to the objective. Do nothing. We're up on the rocks. No contact so far. Avoiding no lead. Wait. That might be a bit. Steve does the kill. I think that guy's a friend. Okay. Like a lot of different objective markers. 
I don't like min maxing stuff. I like uh, I like winging it. It depends. Like uh, like I, the first time I played Kotor, I just like did winged it. And it was fun. The second time I like looked up kind of like hey, what's like the super ideal build and one of the little things. It was fun to play it that way and just become like overpowered and stuff. Yeah, I can see that. That's what I was playing on Switch. Oh, that was just the port, right? They're doing a full-on remake. Right? Yeah, but like it, it was already like been reassigned to like a different developer. We'll see if that remake actually happens. Oh well. Wow. Yeah, they're bad people. Whoa, 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 whoa! Where did you come from? Hey. Secure neutralized. Secure the temple. Apparently. That's good. Put that progress for you, Dan. Uh, That's it. All progress all the time. You still haven't uh, fucked up on Robocop, right? Never? Yeah, I never had like a complete nothing happen at the end. Yeah, yeah. I, I like that. Uh, Grub had that with Punch Out. Grub had that with Bubsy. Or, or wait, no. Grub did have an episode or two where he made no progress, correct? Uh, Bubsy, yes, I think so. You had yeah, a, yeah. definitely a shadow episode where that happened. Yeah, right. basically no progress. And speaking of Xbox 360 era stuff, here's the turret section. Hell yeah. I like those in Gears. I think those are always fun. Though. Yeah, well, Gears turn. Wait, why am I taking so much damage, actually? <laughs> I thought it'd be, like, inv invincible. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck? You... Wait. Can you use can turret, use turret again? Off? Okay, now let's okay, take, try again. Take the turret again. Okay, this time it there works. There you go. <laughs> okay, that was a little concerning for a second there, but we're okay. <laughs> Deactivate turrets. Enemy turrets? Oh, I see. Well, enemy turrets. I couldn't even notice it before. We could just shoot those instead of deactivating. Okay, that's one. Another one over here. Right. Did I miss? Okay, so there's a heck of a recoil on this thing. I would think that makes sense for the turret. It does, but it's annoying. I don't like that. Come on. We have unlimited ammo here. I shot a minigun once attached to a turret, and I was surprised that there did not seem to be any real oh, recoil. Really? Well, they like, probably mm -hmm. stabilized them like crazy. Yeah, yeah. What was that for? Some video game thing? Like, you need to shoot a gun so you understand what it's going to be like in a video game. Surprisingly not. They did that all the time, but it, like Game Informer cover trips, but I was never on the gun shooting ones. Uh, this was uh, my bachelor party, actually. I shot a minigun in Las Vegas. Okay, so we really cleared the way here, so this is nice. We don't have to worry about this now. That's good. Hey, hot take. I don't really like guns, so that's good. I don't, I'm don't. i not really a gun guy at all. I just, uh, you know, for the bachelor party, uh, before the Taco Bell wedding, Tim Turry, I, I told him, like, Hey, just, you know, I'll let you plan a bunch of silly, fun things, and I just don't want to do any, like, stripper, like, you know, old time, or, you know, like the old bachelor party stuff. Sure. Like, oh, we got a bunch of strippers, no. and it's like, ah, that's not what I want to do before I get married. So I said, just pick a bunch of fun stuff. And yeah. so we went to a German beer house. We shot a bunch of miniguns. We jumped off a building. Uh, he tried to get Nicolas Cage okay. to join us and actually got into contact with people, but he was his schedule was not working out oh with it. Oh, my God, so. incredible. Yeah, so Tim, Tim was a, a great funny. best man, first man. What's it What's it called? Best man. Best man, best man. Yeah, first yeah, man's yeah. fun, though. <laughs> That's not on the moon, right? First, well, I mean, you know, we call that the first man on the moon. But, uh, There's thought, a movie, I don't, right? It's first an official... man? Oh, you're right. That was. Movie. Yeah, yeah. Sorry sorry about Penny. I don't know what she's freaking out about. <laughs> I have no tolerance for dogs barking on yeah, content yeah, on video I know. game it websites. Really bothers you. <laughs> the noise from those fireworks should come to sound good. Kind of dog is Penny. Penny's a half a malt. She's half Havanese and half Maltese, which are both Aww. just little white fluffball breeds anyway, so she's a little white fluffball. Had a Maltese growing up. Oh, really? Yeah. I had a lot of, um... When I was growing up, I had a couple of shit. I can't remember the name now. It's not Terrier. They were little, too. Not Lasso. I had a Lasso Abso uh, before Penny. Okay, but some lasso apps, another small. I had a lot of small dogs growing up. Another small dog breed. Fun to say though, that right? Lasso apps, though. Never heard like of that. Ted Lasso. Ah. There's all that. I don't want. I think your guy's wrong. 
I'm doing just fine. I don't need. It's IGN. What do they know? Yeah, right. Sure. Something people are mad about IGN for right now. Oh, that's right. That's right. They did it. I don't know. They're like, a video where the guy did something mean about games that get seven out of ten or something. Everyone got mad. I don't. I don't know. I didn't see it. Everyone's always mad about video game shit that doesn't matter. That's true. <laughs> shut up, everyone. That's it's fine. Sure. Like, who cares? We're all just having fun here. Come on, just play your games. It's, it's fine. <laughs> There's a podcast I listen to. It's a wrestling podcast, and they always say, uh, "Like what you like and shut the fuck up." And that's, <laughs> that, that's a good motto, I think. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, get some more money. I guess I could have gone shopping. You know? What's going on over there, Penny? <laughs> I'm gonna go see real quick. What the? You entertain the people. That is a lot. You entertain. Hey, everyone. Hi, Mitch is gonna go check on a dog right now. You know that that saying, uh, you "Gotta go see a man about a dog." I I know what it means in terms of like what it rep when you say it, it means like, "Oh, I gotta go do a thing." But like, what does "see a man about a dog" mean? I don't really understand the uh, origins of that. It seems it feels British to me. I don't know why. Maybe I just heard it in British shows. Was that All like right. an Ali G thing? All right, there he is. Brother made a surprise visit. Your brother's here. Yeah, I'm getting lunch with him after this. He didn't, ah. I, he didn't get the mess. I told him there were technical issues and there was a slight delay. That's okay. He can wait. What you getting for lunch? I don't know. We're going to figure that out. There's some options. There's a nice burger place by us. Uh, also, just be real cheap and go to Subway. What's it there like having go. a brother? What's it like? It's great. I have two brothers. We're both. But, like, I don't know. Like, uh, because me and my brothers, we're, we're, like, bizarrely close, like, an ideal, like, in a way that I don't <laughs> see it. Other people, like, most people are like, yeah, obviously, like, me and my brother got into fist fights a lot and we hate <laughs> each other. <laughs> <laughs> like that seems real obvious. Then like there are adults like yeah, we're like pretty close now. We were just always like nerds. We all liked the same shit. We all liked video games and Disney. So just you ever do wrestling moves on each other? Yes, we did used to do that. Yeah, that was. Anyone fun. ever get hurt? Um, somehow no. Somehow no. But like we do it in the pool, and then especially like a, later, there was like a mattress we just had on the floor, and we would have people do stuff like that. But, oh shit! I used to choke slam Kayla into the pool. That sounds fun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she the pool's really great for, for that it. stuff. What's that? The pool's great for that stuff. Oh, yeah, do a swanton bomb in there. Yeah, all sorts I, of good stuff. I was at a uh, trampoline park the other day, my uh, niece, and they had, like, one of those things where it's like you like, jump into, like, the inflated, uh, like, uh, cushion thing. Yeah, I yeah. Did it, I did it a couple of times, and I was pretty tired. It's like, oh, I should have done a giant elbow drop. What was I thinking? That's the go-to every time is just elbow drop. Every time I get in a hotel room, elbow drop the bed. Yeah. Exactly. Now, when you do an elbow drop, who are you thinking of? Are you thinking of Shawn Michaels or are you thinking of uh, Savage? Usually, usually Savage. Although Shawn's Savage was kind of before my time, uh, so I saw Shawn do it. But I feel like Macho is the most synonymous elbow drop. Player. Makes sense. You're not a bitch. Shawn's is. God, they both look really, really good. I don't, how, how much of a Shawn guy are you? Because I'm like Shawn's like my favorite. That's my favorite wrestler. I was 100% to Sean guy as a kid. Well, it was like Sean and Razor, and being a kid, I hated Sean. But then as I got older, I came to appreciate, like, oh, man, he was just being a good cocky heel, you know? And, like, yeah. all of his matches kicked ass, and turns out he was the common denominator, you know? So I, I would definitely call myself a big Sean guy. I don't know about later period Sean. Um, great matches, uh, certainly, uh, in, in the second half of his career. But yes. the character, once he got real, he, the character was very different. And, uh, yeah. You hate that he loves Jesus. No, he was just a little, I liked it when he was humping flags and blowing snot rocks yeah, and stuff, right. you know? Because especially, like, later period DX, I hated. Like, the, the reunion DXs. It's like, oh, those were oh, so was fucking lame. lame. Those sucked. Also, he's still a butthead. Like, like that, that old thing about, uh, oh, they found Jesus, and now everybody has to <laughs> Hey, so. There <so. laughs> a lot of stories. People can change, but they often can't change too much, I find. Yeah, he'd still be a butthead, it turns out. <laughs> he's just a butthead not on drugs. Right. That's this little checkpoint here. I feel like we'll be doing some good stuff. But yeah, like my favorite match of all time is probably still Sean Taker at 25. Oh god, I love it. Yeah, that's it's incredible. That's maybe maybe my favorite. That um, I, I do like Austin Bret Hart 13 a lot. Yeah, my favorite. Yeah. Right, this is 
that that's Big way up there. Door. Okay. Do we fit the level? Wow. Look at you. Or maybe we're just loading something new. Yeah, we're Hell just yeah. loading something new. In fact, now this is where I think I'm going to leave it for you, Dan. Oh, right there, huh? All right. Right here. This Hopping is your right mission in. now. This is your mission now. So thank you so much for uh, watching me play it forward. I yeah. will. Uh, I look forward to taking the, the, the relay baton and uh, beating the game next time and, and taking credit for the win. That sounds good. Uh, I hope you yeah. do. Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine... I don't know how much is left. I can't imagine it's ever going to come back to me. So I, I just got to wish you Godspeed, sir, on behalf of all of the Michael Thorntons out there. Well, and wish, please, you know, not me. You'll see me again. You won't see Michael Thornton again. So what would you like to say to Michael as you bid him adieu here? Michael, I, I think you got to let go of the purple jacket. I think it's got to go. I think you got to stop lugging it around the world. I know you think it's a good joke. It's not. It's problematic. Do better. <laughs> Just give it to Goodwill and, and just try to grow as a person, Michael. <laughs> you know what? Wear it. Like, it's the jacket's fine. The jacket's yeah. not the problem. You're the problem, Michael. Well, I mean, the jacket, the keeping the, the, the memento of a man you murdered thing is a little yeah. troublesome. But you have a glossy <laughs> in the frame with it, like you're making a shadow box. It's a problem. Get, uh, get a therapist. Get a yeah, therapist. Do some self reflection, Michael. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.